Did you enjoy the recent Avatar movie? Well, I did. And the Pandoran biosphere is just beautiful. It is a lush world that is thriving thanks to a mineral called unobtainium, which helps to power the giant tree that sits on top of it. Being almost as large as Earth, Pandora is only a moon of a planet that has 13 other moons. And called Awa's Child by the Navi, it is an Earth-like habitable extrasolar moon from the Alpha Centauri A system, which is the closest star system to humans' own solar system. The Pandoran biosphere is filled with beautiful creatures, which are pretty large in size. Much of the fauna and flora is also bioluminescent, which is seen in creatures on Earth such as fireflies, many deep-sea animals and some microscopic algae. Due to the fictional moon having less gravity than Earth, therefore, the creatures' larger sizes match their environment. Pandora looks like a lush paradise by Earth standards during the day, but at night, virtually all life on the moon exhibits bioluminescent qualities in various shades of blue, purple and green. This possibly explains the Navi's blue skin color, which most likely provides them better camouflage at night on Pandora. Flora on Pandora are of a tropical type several times taller than that existing on Earth, while most Pandoran wildlife is hexapodal or six-legged. If you would like a deeper description of these creatures, do check our recent video as we have described them one by one just for you. Fun fact, specimens seen in the film were all designed by Jody Holt, a professor of botany at the University of California, Riverside. According to Holt, Pandoran flora are able to communicate with each other through signal transduction and are larger in size than Earth's flora due to greater atmospheric thickness, weaker gravity and stronger magnetism on Pandora. The flying reptile-like creatures in the film can be compared to extinct flying reptiles such as pterosaurs and to the modern gliding lizard Draco Sumatranus. To commune with these animals on their planet, the Navi has to literally pluck their prey into the creature's nerve system. Well, that is a small description of the life on Pandora. Let us see the relation it has with humans. In the universe of Avatar, Pandora is depicted as being a moon that is presumably far away in outer space. The rich story of Avatar and the many layers of Pandora were explored, but it was never explicitly addressed where Pandora was or how long it would take humans to get there. But even if they were to travel at the speed of light, it would probably take over four years to arrive on Pandora. Now, although it is possible for humans to reach Pandora, here's a question that has been frequently asked, and that is why humans can't breathe on Pandora. Well, it is due to the high carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere. Additionally, there are trace amounts of hydrogen sulfide in the air which is extremely poisonous to humans. According to the Avatar Wiki, Pandora's atmosphere is composed of a mixture of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, xenon, methane and hydrogen sulfide. There's about 18% more carbon dioxide in Pandora's air compared to Earth. This is why human beings have to wear respirators or use avatars to walk around Pandora. While the Navi have special organs similar to kidneys called Wicho, that take advantage of this atmosphere to extract greater amounts of oxygen for their bloodstream. These organs use carbon dioxide and water in their bodies and convert them into methane and oxygen. The methane is exhaled back into the atmosphere and the extra oxygen is added to the Navi bloodstream to help power their extra large bodies and powerful muscles. This process accounts for the small amount of methane in the Pandoran atmosphere. At rest or when the Navi are dormant, those same organs can convert some small amounts of methane back into carbon dioxide and water to replenish their water supply if needed. 
This is why humans can survive with just a filtration system or exopacks, but the Navi need higher amounts of carbon dioxide to function. The level of carbon dioxide and other gases such as hydrogen sulfide also keep the Navi's bloodstream a slightly acidic pH around 5.25 to 5.75. Well friends, I would love to talk more about this beautiful biosphere, but I'm afraid I may spoil the movie for those that have not watched it yet. I hope you enjoyed the video though and do let us in on your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. See you soon.